What's wrong with the UK education system? There is so much wrong with the UK education system. Nothing seems to be done about it. It just keeps falling. A large amount of schools seem to only care about their reputation rather than the education of the students. A lot of schools are full of bad teachers, but they've just not realised it. So many schools are full of some stupid, stupid rules. People doing the JCCs, it's causing them to get mental health issues, it's causing them to have depression and anxiety. And that shouldn't be a thing. You're meant to go to school, you're meant to feel okay, and people are also getting bullied quite seriously. And you're meant to go to school, you're meant to feel safe, you're meant to feel protected, you're meant to feel in an environment where you know that you can learn and not be at risk of getting beaten up or getting abused or getting shouted at, whatever it may be. You're meant to go to this place that is designed to educate you and feel safe about it, but that isn't the case anymore. I mean, it's never been the case, but in this day and age with the way things work with social media, with how quickly rumours can spread around an entire building, nothing is safer in education anymore. I seen an article the other day about a school in my local area. They have a really ridiculous rule now that you can't have your hair shorter than a number two. A number two, if you don't know, is a, a, a clipment a attachment on a clipper thing that hairdressers use. Yeah, you can't have it shorter than a number two. And this kid that has been punished for this is being put in isolation at lun break and lunch until his hair grows back. How fucking ridiculous is that? Literally, he can't spend any time with his friends. And it's going, it has going to take ages to grow back because if you have your hair cut short, it just takes ages to grow back. Not just for the UK, but in most cases around the entire world. The way the times are set out during the school day don't add up to what has been scientifically proven in what a teenager should be getting regarding sleep. So. They go to school, they wake up at like six, half six, half seven, whatever time they get up, get on the bus or walk or get on the bike or get the parents to drive them to school. And school starts at like quarter to nine in most schools in the UK, nine o'clock in around that time. They are in school till around three, half three, sometimes later depending on the type of the school. They come home, they have all this homework, this coursework to do, they stay up all night stressing, trying to get all this homework done for a deadline. And then it comes to like midnight, one o'clock in the morning, they're still doing the homework. And then they wake go back to sleep and got to wake up in another four hours and they've had nowhere near amount of sleep they're meant to get. They're meant to get like ten hours, I think. Eight to ten hours sleep. And they're not getting that. So they're going to school not ready, so they're not focusing on it, so they're missing out. They're getting distracted from the work because of how tired they are and how sleep deprived they are and something that generally needs to be done about this I'm going to leave loads of links in the descriptions to a few articles I've found that are talking about what is generally wrong with the education system but it seriously just fucking pisses me off the stuff that's wrong with this within our education system and like schools focus on reputation they want to have good reputation they want to have good offset reports if you don't know what offset is in the UK we have like a governing body offset who basically inspect all the schools and give us a grading as like good, um, excellent, needs improvement or there's another one but I can't remember what it is but when I was at school my school was for the entire time in my year 10 and year 11 was it needs improvement it might have been lower than needs improvement though I think it was generally struggling because they were close to shutting us down almost we now have this the school I went to is now a good off has got a good offset rating which is bullshit I know people inside that school and they do not deserve that good offset rating. They are seriously still failing. There was a lot going on with the school. There was a lot going on inside that school that offset don't know about. From all the way from primary school all the way up to university. And that university is getting more difficult because this government has scrapped grants. So now, before, if you go to university, you get paid so much money to look after yourself to get to have a place to live, to buy food, to buy supplies for university and whatever you may need. But they've scrapped that now. That's completely gone. There's no grants anymore, so you've got to live off working and getting your own money and saving up. So that's fucking stupid. So, literally, changes are happening all the time to the UK education system. 
I'm going to do a proper video regarding the UK education system in the future and going into more depth about it after I've done a lot more research because this is just a blank slate video. I'm just doing this of what I've researched and it's sort of just stored in my head a bit. But I finished school, but I know a lot of people that are currently at school that are generally struggling because of the way the UK that are generally struggling because of the way the UK education system is laid out and is made up. I hope that a lot of these changes get generally addressed in the future and things generally get sorted because if not, people are just failing and grades are going to get lower and lower and it's just not going to end well at all. So, I will do a proper video. I'm going to do a bigger video in the coming months. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, remember to like, comment and subscribe. I upload every single Thursday. Bye.